Day two of the trials then we'll kick off with one race from Ascot and we'll follow that up with three from Newmarket for a four race card on the flat then we'll go to Toaster for four races on the jumps we're starting off with a one mile three year old plus race on the straight course at the top we've got Kick It for Craig Beckwith, Castle Grizzly Darren Thompson, Endangered Beast, Dan Hughes, Dancing Fool, David Robertson, Alsatian Cousin, Derek Hinton, Acts of Madness and Finale for Joshua Sutherland, Holland for Matt Cooper, Sabre 5, Munas, Strumble, Minalouche, Padraig Hogan, Napaville Thistle, Vinnie Gerrard, All I Need and Diamond Sue for Alex Cherry, Gilda Leon for Dan Hughes, Freedom Comes, David Robertson, Vertigo, or Derek Hinton, Mary Quant and Sibilant for Martin Lidham, Eve Muir for Matt Cooper, Double Baby for Munas, Isle of Rock and Roll and Live to Rock for Obi-Wan, In Promisum for Padre Hogan, Santa Rosa Verity for Vinnie Gerard, Blago Del Mar, Darren Thompson, Perfect Light Paul Rhodes, Dan City Red Stu Gray and Perfect Ambassador for Paul Rhodes. A field of 28 then on the straight track at Ascot, ready to go and away they go. And quickly out was Blago Del Mar, Castle Grizzly also quickly away. It looks like Castle Grizzly is going to be the one to take them along. As you'd expect, they're spread right across the track. 28 runner field, but it's a straight course, so no concern for anybody looking towards the back. Napaville Thistle, the Grey is one of the back markers, so to Diamond Sue. But it's Holland and Dancing Fall, Isle of Rock and Roll, who are disputing the right over on the far side. Isle of Rock and Roll appears to just have the lead from Vertigo. Holland, Dancing Fall, Sibilant is close up as well. So to his perfect ambassador, Mary Quant. He's trying to make a bit of a forward move. They're coming down towards the five furlong mark now then. And it's Isle of Rock and Roll. Ryder on the far side who is in the lead being chased by Holland. Down the centre of the track is Sibylent in the purple and white stripes. Then Dancing Fall in the turquoise and maroon hoops. Right down on this near side is Castle Grizz. The Acts of Madness is trying to get into the mix as well. So too perfect light. Vertigo is also in that leading group. But the far side have definitely got the lead at the moment. And it's Isle of Rock and Roll in the lead from Holland. But now at the centre of the track Freedom comes. He's coming through with a run so too perfect light over on the far side there's still Isle of Rock and Roll in front two and a half to go Isle of Rock and Roll leads from perfect light acts of madness freedom comes Strumble Minalouche is also now making a forward move down on this near side Black Odell Mar is trying to get going but it's still Isle of Rock and Roll who's got the lead as they come inside the final foot and a half Isle of Rock and Roll perfect light Santa Rosa Verity the grey has now come through to dispute the lead and Santa Rosa Verity might just have poked ahead in front it's Santa Rosa Verity in front from Isle of Rock and Roll vertigo freedom comes perfect light but it's Santa Rosa Verity racing up towards him. Looks like he's going to take this one. Santa Rosa Verity wins it from Finale and Vertigo and Freedom comes and that's a madness and lift to rock on the Navarro official and dancing fall and Sabre fire after all that. And rock and roll led for most of the way on a far side but didn't quite get home in the centre of the track. Finally took it over and Santa Rosa Verity for Vinnie Gerard who I think missed last week. He's back with a bang. And takes that one. Pretty competitive looking race. That was Santa Rosa Verity of Vinnie Gerard is the winner. Finale Joshua Sutherland second. Vertigo for Derek Hinton third. Freedom comes for David Robertson fourth. And Acts of Madness for Joshua Sutherland fifth. Live to Rock run on well for Obi Wan as well. And Munas has had a good start as well. He had a few good placings last week and he's got a ninth there, which is no mean feat in what is in effect a group race. So Santa Rosa Verity for Vinnie Gerard takes it. And Derek Hollywood Hinton breaks up the big boys' monopoly on the top five.